Good morning, everyone. Oh, I'm sure if you heard that, that's just police. South Auckland, baby. So, it's day four of the six week challenge. Today is supposed to be a rest day for me because I was pushing hard for the last three days. But the thing is that I feel good and I feel very motivated. So, I'm going to take advantage of that motivation and just work out. <laughs> you know? There's got to be some gains in that for sure. When you're feeling motivated, take advantage of it, bro, because motivation comes and goes. So when it's there, use it, <laughs> use it, because it will leave and things will start to get boring. And then that motivation drops and goes and you're just left with uh, discipline or the habits that you've built up while you had that motivation. So why not use it? Which is what I'm doing today. So it's day four of the six week challenge. This challenge is only going for six weeks, so why not make the most of it? That doesn't mean to say that I'm not going to rest. Of course I'm going to rest, but today I feel like lifting. I'm going to lift. Anyway, today is a uh, back to push day, but instead of starting off with my chest, I'm going to start off with my shoulders. Um, so it's going to be shoulder focused rather than having them at the end of the chest workout I'm going to put them at the start of this push workout focus on my shoulders and then later on go on to chest and end with that I think that's a I think that's a good way to do it while well, in my head it sounds smart so I've got the 25s probably not, probably not that impressive to some people but it feels good to me, feels heavy as to me. <laughs> Which other drops it? Some people that I've seen shoulder press freaking strong ass man. Ugh. Lateral raises. I'm gonna do one drop set, and then on to the next. Seven. Ah, oh, flash. Ah. Oh, man. Sorry about all the complaining. Just trying to push it, man. Sheesh. If this is like um, sometimes in your way, bro, just boot it out of the way, bro. <laughs> Straight up, man. Last couple of sets. Haven't done much today. I think I have felt a bit of fatigue today. <laughs> Even though I had the motivation to push and to come into the gym, it's kind, of, it's kind of hard to get the quality out of it when your body's kind of needing rest. So maybe I'll take back what I said before. Back home we go. 
This kind of feels like the ride of shame. Because <laughs> I went there with the plan to kind of, you know, push myself. I pushed myself. To, you know what? I gave 100% that I could today. You know? That 100% felt like my normal 50%. But that was my my 100% effort for today. That's all it was, man. At least I showed up. Lunchtime. This is my second meal. So my first meal was a shake. Which I usually have, uh, I think you guys have seen it before. Banana, oats, protein. Oh, which reminds me, I, I gotta get buy some more protein. Look at that, bro. Look at that, man. Beans. Mixed veggies and beans. You carnivores should eat this as well. You murderers. You murderers. <laughs> Beautiful. So today I uploaded a reel onto my socials. And man, the anxiety I got from today. <laughs> the anxiety of putting it out there and then waiting to, to see how it will be received by others. Why? I think all of us go through that, right? All of us go through that where we look into the future way too much. You know, we're like three steps ahead of ourselves and then looking too forward into the future stops us from actually being present and making action. So because if we do this, then this will happen, then this will happen, then that will happen. So, you know, those so those things could possibly be bad. So it's best not to do it at all. Those thoughts always seem to come up when you're about to do something risky. If it's something bad, then maybe listen to those thoughts. But if it's something like just putting your thoughts out there, putting your creative side out there, putting your ideas out there, follow that. Follow that passion. Like, put yourself out there, man. It's, uh, it's hard. It's hard. Like, even me doing this for YouTube, it's hard. But it's rewarding. It's good. And it's even cool when you get to look back at it and, you know, get to see where you were back in the day. Now, thinking forward to next week. I think after after what I experienced today, maybe I will go train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe on Thursday, I... Maybe I do a cardio day on Thursdays. Yeah, maybe I do that. Just focus on cardio. Maybe go for my run. Because I haven't really been running, man. I still love running. But, you know, times change. <laughs> I still like it. But I just haven't done it in a while. After this, do my normal dad stuff. Wash. Clean up the house. Pick up the kids. And tonight, tonight I'm not too sure if I'm going to train again. Maybe I'll just rest and train tomorrow. Maybe I'll rest. Maybe I'll rest, yeah. Maybe I'll rest it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. You know what, guys? I, I, I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to do this. But I um, <laughs> should be super transparent with you guys. I had a moment of weakness, man. No, I just ate some of my kids' lunches. So... Most of this. Chips. Sorry? Oh yeah, sure. Come, show them. This is my... Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hold on, darling. Let me let me interview you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Hazel. Hazel, say hello. Hello. Daddy, book. All right. Dinosaur. Whoa. Dinosaur. Oh, you're a T-Rex, Ezra. <laughs> so, can you... Can you explain what you got here? Uh, this is a ice cream tower. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I forgot what to say. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you can explain how many scoops, maybe what their names um, are. All of them, all of these ice creams have a flavor each. Nice. The first one is chocolate chip. The second one is blushy blueberry. The, s the third one is Vibrant Vanilla. No one got time for that, bro. Get that crap out of here. Psych!
we're gonna go back to the story and listen to the whole story of the 10 scoop ice cream that she drew all right where to go darling the fourth one is orange orby i don't know why i did that mm -hmm. um the fourth um the fifth one is mango and next is strong strawberry Dinosaur. and next is banana blush and and also next is surprise sulfurine and next is cookie cone and and the last is unsure onion <laughs> that's amazing well done darling thank you you're welcome ah oh, my kids are the cutest bro anyway <laughs> I had a little moment of weakness, bro. So that <clears throat> that made me realize I need to prep more protein-heavy snacks. Cause with the beans, bro, I'm tooting, bro. I've been eating beans, I've been eating tofu's, which is basically soybean. I'm, I'm just, I'm just tooting everywhere. So uh, I need to eat something else that's not beans, bro. That'll give me something to think about over the next couple of days sort that part of my diet out especially as 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 a vegan i can't really eat like i'm quite limited but that's me for the day i took tonight off i feel like i need a rest see you guys tomorrow